I've been mentally trying to process both scenarios because I need to do that myself. I've been told straight it's extensive life-changing surgery. It's prolonged recovery. Um, it's a 16-hour operation. It's absolutely petrifying. But then I think if I do it and I make it through, the disease is out of my body and I could have up to 40 to 50 months. Or the disease is still in my body and then I don't know how long I've got left. So both decisions are awful, either way. But as bad as it sounds, I'm, I'm going to die eventually anyway, so why not die trying? I can't just give up. It's not in my nature if you spoke to any of my friends or family. That's not me. So just keep going. I think we should offer her all the treatment options that we can to extend her quantity of life to the best quality of life that we can. But at the same time, if you have limited resources, you've got to decide who you are giving the best benefit from that limited resource you've got. Smruta Shanbhag is joined by the other two consultant surgeons who will be needed for Natasha's operation. She's very keen for an operation. <laughs> Together, the three of them will need to agree if surgery is viable based on the findings of this procedure. Swab, knife, forceps, please. See, that doesn't look too bad. I can take that bit off. Yeah, we could see on the scan lots of disease on the yeah. uh, diaphragm. So the diaphragmatic disease we can resect? Yes. Yeah. Just look down now. Just look down. What's all that yeah, stuff? Yeah. That's, so that's disease. I mean, it's looking, to be honest, to me, it looks like a lot of disease. The laparoscopy shows that the cancer has spread more than the original scans showed. Unless the team believe they can remove enough disease, a more invasive operation will not be offered, as it's risky and may not prolong Natasha's life. Okay, oh, guys. All right. Just give me a second. Yeah, it, it wasn't what I wanted. It wasn't exactly what you wanted. I am sorry, Natasha. I know you're tired of me saying yeah, this again and again and again. So there is a colleague in London called Professor Christina Futopoulou. I am going to get an opinion from her. I'm going to try. Like, there's anything, because I won't... <laughs> I won't give up, you know that, don't you? Yeah. And I know you won't kill. Yeah, I promise. I promise. But we have to do what is right for you. Yeah. Four days after the laparoscopy, Natasha has received news from the consultant in London who has reviewed her case. Hello. Hello. She phoned me and then she said you'd sent all my scans and everything. Um, she'd explain the procedure. So it, it's, yeah, it's going ahead. You're going ahead? It's, I'm going ahead with it, Miss Shamba, yeah. How are you feeling, Natasha? Absolutely petrified. <laughs> I'm petrified, but I've got faith in you so much and her. You're my last chance, and I said that to her. You're my last hope and you've worked so hard for me. I, I can't sit back now and say I have any regrets at all. 
because I've done everything I possibly can. So hopefully it's given me more time. Each day that goes by, I'm getting better. Yeah, on the road to recovery.